Would you all pray with me, please? Amazing and loving God, we gather in your name, intentionally putting time aside to feel your presence, to see what you have in store for us, so we can take it and ingest it, allow it to become part of us, and allowing it to flow through us as we encounter people in this world. Loving God, we do not do this out of an idea that if we come, you'll automatically give us something. We do this with a knowledge and awareness that what you have for us is better than anything that we could generate on our own, better than anything this world can give us. And for that, we stop and give you thanks. We probably don't stop and give you thanks enough because, loving God, you are pouring your presence, your bounty, your blessings upon us each and every day. And we so quickly and so easily just cast it aside and just say, hey, that's just a part of life. We take credit for what you have done with us and through us and for us. Others take credit and say, look at what I've done for you when you have actually been working through them. In those moments, O oh God, forgive us. Forgive us and restore us. For in that restoration, we know that you do not abandon us, you do not reject us, you will not put us aside, but you will keep putting us front and center, pouring yourself into us each and every day. Loving God, help us to see that, to embrace that, to appreciate that, to live and reveal it wherever we go and with whomever we encounter. Loving God, we give to you this morning the mother of Angelita Hilliker. She's currently in hospital in the Philippines, and loving God, she just needs your healing touch and your loving presence. Be with Angelita as she has concern for her mother, along with her family. May, O oh God, your spirit Bring comfort and peace to her at this time. Remember, O God, Joe, a co-worker of Bob Caldron, who is going to the hospital for knee surgery this week. Loving God, guide the surgeon's hands and allow there to be a quick recovery. We give to you, O God, this morning, Stephanie Rooney, who is currently at St. Joseph having severe migraines has not been able to be be treated outside of the hospital, and now she's in hospital. Loving God, just be with the medical team as they seek to not only diagnose the cause of this, but also give a means of treatment so she can have some relief. Remember this morning, Steve Sterick, Jeff's brother, who has had cancer removed from his hip this past week. Loving God, while we are give praise to you in what you have started, we recognize that there will be additional procedures that will be required on his body. Be with him in the days ahead as these unfold, as these take place. Give him the strength, give him the patience to be able to persevere. Be with his family and friends as they surround and uplift him at this time. Loving God, we know you can make all things possible. We know this in the way that you were with our brother Charlie Hughes this past week as he was in the hospital for his infection. Loving God, he is now home from the hospital, and while he is still weak, he's still on an antibiotic treatment for the next couple weeks. Loving God, his resolve has not stopped to keep moving, keep living. Loving God, allow him to have wisdom and patience to allow his body to recover and to heal so he can get back to his active life of constant motion and just enjoying every minute. We also stop and give you thanks, O God. Nona Boss has a new great-granddaughter, Holland Elizabeth, born last Sunday. A new life brought into the family. A new life to mentor, to teach, to grow, to show how to be not only a person of this world, but 
one of your children in this world. Help us to celebrate and assist Nona in her task as great-grandmother any way we can. And loving God, just keep pouring yourself into this new life, into those around her, so her influences and her teachers are positive and nurturing. Because positive and nurturing is what you are, O God. You are always pouring yourself into our lives and the lives of those around us. It's whether we see, have the eyes to see and the ears to hear to take notice. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. But that doesn't stop you, O oh God. For you are a God who breaks through all the barriers and delivers your love, your presence, your wisdom, your guidance. And you did this through your son, Jesus, our Savior, sending him to this world to take the burden of our sins on that cross so we can, without reservation and without hesitation, feel your presence, see your guiding hand, Feel your healing spirit. And loving God, just feel your embrace each and every day. That's the kind of loving God that you are. We stop, we celebrate, we give thanks. And we pray for this all. In thanksgiving, in the name of your Son, Jesus, our Savior. Amen.